Now, now we could go to the second one, final three C. I, I'll probably see that in the second one. I can't read this. It looks like a, a rom-com. Oh, it's back, it's back to the screams. No, not the screams. In a world terrorized by slavering shadows and tentacled nightmares, something as innocuous as an additional star in the night sky may be the most pro pro prophetic premonition of doom, I'm sorry. For wherever the lurid golden light of the planet Carcosa shines, Kind of, is that a real planet? Carcosa shines, the long wicked shadow of the king in yellow is cast. Behind that mask lie echoes of decadence and disorder, masquerades of limitless cruelty and hideous laughter in equal parts. And of all the poor devils seduced by the lavish promises of the god king's court, the favored victims of the king's sadistic amusement. Our followers belonging to other deities. Huh? What? Where? Ah! Did I zone out? I was... What was I doing? Damn. I'm having one hell of a brain fart. I can't remember for the life of me what I'm supposed to be doing. Everything feels so hazy. Where does this take place though? Does it take before he summons her? Or before he got the... The book? Was I going to work? I, I am standing outside after all. Yeah, that's gotta be it. The sun is setting, so it's probably around 7 p.m., which means I'm gonna be crazy late. Fantastic. Hey, it works pretty late. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, he's late. Never mind. That's the beauty, beauty of working nights. I can't use the excuse that I overslept. Yeah, boss, I slept all day, sun up to sundown. That's why I'm late. Six hours early for my shift? Huh? Those sounds like the church noontime bells. It's high noon. I don't, I don't know, but the sun looks pretty close. No way. <laughs> they must be doing some special evening service or something. I can clearly see that's the that it's golden hour right before sunset. I'll just have to ask someone for the time on my way to work if it's not too late. And I really hope it. I'll just get chewed out instead of getting fired. I'll still have to deal with being sweaty, but I'll figure that out when I get there. Yeah, no one, no one likes being. Whoa. Oh, someone's coming home. Perfect. Fingers crossed that I'm not absolutely screwed. I don't know about that. He looks... Looks like he caught... Uh, came back from one of those... I don't know. A play? Hey, man. Sorry to bother you. You wouldn't have to have the time on you, would you? <laughs> Music. Hello. Hey, uh... Hey. Is he, is he gonna come closer? He's just gonna... Stand there in the distance. Is this guy ignoring me? Normally I'd say whatever and walk away, but he's unfortunately standing in the stairway off this floor. <laughs> the only way to exit this conversation is to shove past him, but the guy is giving me such weird vibes. I don't want to go anywhere near him. The longer I look at him, this guy seems more and more suspicious. Yeah, he has like blood or cranberry juice all over him. He's wearing a mask. That odd posture. He's slowly swaying in an uncanny and disturbing way. The collar of his shirt looks filthy, stained with splotched of deep browns and reds. Is he bleeding? Does he even live here? This is the top floor and I thought I've met all my neighbors. There are only four apartments up here. I mean, the other, the other neighbor was like an occult dude from what he said. My only choices are to go inside and call the police or to walk past this freaky guy. I don't have the time to wait around for when the cops show up, so I'll... But just as I take a step, I kick something weighty with my shoe. It's bright pink with golden accents. Oh, it's a book. A book? What's... <gasps> Lynetta! But I died! The world ended! Okay, so this must have been the... The main ending, or the first ending that we got. The shock freezes me in place, and because I was so distracted... I didn't even notice the... The... Oh! Jesus. <laughs> I duck inside my room, slamming the door in the suspicious men's face. Yeah, there's a crowd of them. Fumbling with the locks in a panic, I manage to turn the deadbolt. I take a few fearful steps back into the room, clutching the book to my ble beating chest. Oh, it, it changed to yellow. 
I died. I definitely died when I performed the final ritual. So why am I still here? Where is here? That is a good question. Oh, the poster changed. And there's there's a new mask. Locked in my room. I have nowhere to run. Lynetta! Lynetta! If Lynetta was here, she could explain this. I mean, she, she kind of killed us and destroyed the world. So maybe there's something in this book that can save me. I need to hurry. Come on, come on. Lynetta, where are you? Lynetta, who? Who is <laughs> Lynetta you're trying to call? <laughs> no one. Missy, what are you doing in my room? I just so happened to overhear you saying, Lynetta, where are you? You sounded like you were in trouble, so I let myself in. <laughs> but there is creepy men at the doorway. How the hell did you get in? How, how did you even get in here? Your window was open. <laughs> That's even worse. How'd you get in through my window? Huh? No, it's not. And either way, I'm on the top floor, so how did you... Lynetta sounds like a girl's name, right? This Lynetta is obviously the girl you stood me up for, isn't she? <laughs> I don't know about that. She's just one of the, she's just a fictional character in one of my video games. <laughs> what is her deal? I knew she'd be pissed I slammed that door in her face, but not so much that she wouldn't notice any of the things obviously wrong here. Why does she care about those freaky things stalking me outside? Or is that my room of- Oh, that's right. Evil idols and real ritualistic tokens. That's right. Anyone would be as suspicious of a man with a Cthulhu mask and necklace and turtle. Obviously. I can explain. All this stuff- Let me guess. Accursed devices used to channel eldritch magics and do the bidding of outer gods. Now she's really suspicious. Well, yeah, exactly right. Did you just randomly guess that? No, I've just been playing coy. I know exactly what you've been doing. Damn it! You know what this is, don't you? Oh, it looks like my... It's a golden version of my book. The book I used to perform rituals for Lynetta. Hers looks way more ornate than mine. Well, it's, it's just gold. It's just gold book. Considering I ended reality with mine, I can't imagine how dangerous hers must be. It's like the premium edition. Wait a minute, the sky? That suspicious man outside? They all match Bessie's book. Is she making all of this happen? Oh god. When I expected her to do something crazy, I thought she was just gonna show up with a hatchet or something. I didn't expect she'd take over the world. Missy, look, I'm sorry. I just got wrapped up in something. Please don't. Sorry? You're sorry? Why are you acting so afraid of me? Well, there's like a 99.5% chance you're like an eldritch god, so... <laughs> Could it be that you know what this book is capable of? Yes. I know all too well. But I also know that these incantations take at least five seconds to pronounce, and that if she gets it right on the first try. So worst case, I have five seconds to stop her. If I dash for my ritual knife behind her, I might be able to kill her before she does something terrible to me. Damn, he's already, he's already going straight to killing her. If I can distract her, I might be able to buy myself more time. Missy, look, I'll do whatever you want. Anything? I can be rather... <laughs> Name your price. So bold. In that case, I have three commands. Number one, you'll address me as Your Highness from now on. <laughs> so when I come home, it's <laughs> Your Highness. <laughs> uh, weird, but okay. When she comes home, <laughs> she wants me to move in, but that means whatever. It's not like I'm going to have to actually follow through on these. At least one of us is about to die. <laughs> I, I'm not going to get tied down. As you wish, your highness. <laughs> what else? Number two. You'll quit your job so you can spend every waking moment catering to me. You're one and only. Sure, whatever. Just a little bit more until I'm in sprinting rage of the knife. And number three. 
You'll obey every order and whim I have, absolutely, without question. I just gotta reach that knife. Do you agree to my terms? Absolutely. Absolutely. What? <laughs> absolutely, your highness. God damn. <laughs> If you will do whatever I ask, then there's no need to use any of these dreadful spells on you. As a matter of fact, I believe you can help me with them. Here. Am I not going to stab her? She just handed over her book without a second thought. Yellow energy pulse pulses and crackles from my fingertips. Is this ultimate power? <laughs> she... Is she not here to hurt me? Oh, confused. I've liked you for a long time, and you're a capable bookkeeper. Handsome to boot. There's no reason we can't simply work together. Bookkeeper? After all, a relationship based on threats of violence and fear is no good, right? That is true. But I've been kind of forced into this position so right we narrowly escaped with our lives just now but something is bothering me how does she remember that i stood her up in the reality that ended under lynetta's awakening and how did she get in through my window i doubt she was able to climb several stories dressed like that and then pass through my locked window without breaking it is my window locked i mean it could have been open but there's only one possible answer all right, your highness, I'm ready to enter my lifetime of servitude to you. I just have one small request first. Being? Could you tell- <laughs> Could you tell me what this is? Huh? Your Worcestershire sauce? What about it? You fool! Now I know you're an elder god. <laughs> so you're an eldritch god disguised as a human. <laughs> Just as I thought. <laughs> How did you figure that out so suddenly? Isn't it obvious? No human being can pronounce worst. Worcester. Worsh. Worcestershire. Of course not. It's an Eldritch loan word. Why else would it be spelled like that? <sighs> I was careless. After all this time, I wasted trying to seduce you in this slovenly form. Yeah, you should have tried using your Eldritch form instead. <laughs> I would have fallen in love immediately. <laughs> this guy, he's he's not right. He's not right in the brain. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> you think cosmic entities are attractive? As a human? I mean, maybe. 3D women are fine, <laughs> but fourth dimension girls with non elucidant geometry are smoking. <laughs> they could they got curves that can literally get lost. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> if I had known that you're attracted to my cosmic godhood, I would have just led with that. <clears throat> Allow me to properly introduce myself. I am Esther, King in Yellow, heiress to Carcosa. Charmed, I'm sure. Man, she's like those fancy women. She's gorgeous. A bona fide Eldritch King in my room? Man. Oh, man. <laughs> All my fantasies of smooching and Eldritch horror are coming true. An Eldritch royalty to boot! <laughs> the king in yellow. Sounds familiar. I can't remember why. My memory of my other existence is kind of fuzzy. What I do remember is that her followers tend to be incredibly violent towards cultists. Loyal to other gods. Oh. Like Lynetta. Shit. I kind of got swept up, swept up in the moment of it. I've already forgot I pledged fealty to another god. This reality or not? Ah, oh, wait. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm already involved with another god. I'm following Lynetta. I know. So loyal, so faithful and devoted. That's why I want you to be my follower instead. <coughs> you make it sound like a 
I'm not any of those things. In exchange for serving me, I shall grant you anything you desire. Wealth, power, whatever that rotten witch Lynetta offered you, I can double it. Oh, two smooches? Mmm. She promised me a smooch. Then I shall... What, what, what? I mean... You handed over your reality to her? For a singular smooch? Are you mad? Is he gonna, is he gonna say the, is he gonna say the line? Is he gonna say mad with lust? You heard me. Uh-uh. So you'll match her offer then? <laughs> It's like applying for like a different job or like at at, at a competitor's business job. I Double my wages. <laughs> if that's all you're selling the world for, then a smooch can be uh, arranged. Wait, you get the world as well? No way! You promised to double it. That's two smooches. <laughs> no, hold on a minute. <laughs> Two of them on the lips. Alright, alright, very well. Two smooches lip to lips. Satisfied? I just. Usually, my followers ask for inordinate wealth, unquestionable fame, and influence, or some lavish indulgence. What do I need all that for? Nobody's ever dared to ask to kiss me before, so. She's blushing for real. You really want to smooch me? I got her on the hook. Well, <clears throat> your terms are amenable. Suffice it to say, I'll expect you to perform your scenes flawlessly in exchange. What does that mean? Scenes? The prompt book I gave you contains the script for the king in yellow. Huh? You mean this spell book that I was so afraid of? It's just a damn play. <laughs> I mean... If I did stab an eldritch god, I'd probably be in much worse, in a much worse position right now. This thing is just a playbook. Where are all the power invoking rituals? Rituals? Is this some sort of peasant joke that I'm too rich to understand? No, we aren't barbaric swamp folk casting hocus pocus in a cave. We have a little class. To invoke my power, my play must be performed perfectly. Perfectly. I don't always get these rituals, uh, I mean, scenes right the first time. What happens if I botch my lines or set a scene wrong? Your performance will receive a scathing review in the Carcosan Times publication. Then you'll also be killed. I would say that wouldn't be so bad for the first part, but the second part really gets me. It's really, a uh, a big deal breaker. No. <laughs> I I'm getting those smooches no matter what. Oh, Break a leg, God. dearest. The confidence of this man. The confidence to go through with this. All right, let's start it. Perform Act One. Let's let's see if there's anything different. It's basically the same except for the mass. Okay. This seems. This feels like it's gonna be a long thing. <laughs> Look at that face. God. The king in yellow. Act one. In 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 <laughs> stroke. Invitation. Setting exterior in view of city. So I gotta be outside. Host. Click and drag the first word of the line slowly. Uh, I think all I need to be is do is be outside. I'm just gonna go for it. <laughs> Him. Greetings, stranger, foretold fellow. Tis a party for which I blow. Oh. Oh. Okay. Not creepy at all. I invite the king in yellow. Some come, so come all ye and ye till. Wear thine mask upon you to my masquerade until he may come to lost ye till. Hope for us many... Hope for us there may be still. I haven't even read the show. Oh, Shadows wow. lengthen dim streets darken. To the curfew thou must hearken. Why so loudly does thou bark in the dim city of Yatil? Ah oh, man, if I did this in real life, I'd definitely be terrible. Oh. 
Only much attention quite unwholesome you ins you'll instill from the sores of poor Util. Why attract so many ill will? Okay. Now I gotta sit up. I'm gonna if I'm gonna be doing this, I'm gonna be doing it right. Oh shit. Uh whew, okay. I'll just do it and then do it in the next one. That is just what I must seek, see? Hidden somewhere amongst the meekly, tis one invitee I seek. He shall all my mistakes undo. Tis the king in yellow whose great wealth I shall occur. When his shadow passes through, wealth will come to I and you. Lo, your plans shall surely languish, and this whole town will know anguish for the king as whom they say, which shall this city indeed smite. If he comes, you tell him you and I will know his might. I'll be lost within a night. What reward is worth that price? Uh. <laughs> Whew. Little pressure. All we gotta do is read the words. I don't know if I'm supposed to a certain speed. Wearing this expensive clothing, pardon for my family's loathing. Lasting till I'm decomposing, all my friends who've stifled I've caused. Yes, preparing for this night, their forgiveness is the cause. They shall all be proud because I had brought the king to us. Oh, can I? Oh, 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 thank you, thank you, huh. Oh. Who's clapping? Oh, it must be them in the back. Bravo! Oh, they disappeared. Simply splendid. <laughs> Why, thank you. That was actually pretty fun. I've got to flex my act. <laughs> I haven't gotten to flex my acting chops since high school. You're no stranger to the stage, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was a theater kid. <laughs> my school did Macbeth. A virtuoso of the bard, are we? If you've performed Shakespeare, then you must be an actor of sufficient ability to survive my play. Tell me, what role were you? The leading man, I presume. He's gonna be the tree or something, isn't he? <laughs> or the bush. <laughs> oh, I'm happy I was so spot on. I was tree number four. I wasn't aware that was a role. I don't know. It, it's very important to set the setting of the scene. It's not. <laughs> you weren't even the leading tree. <laughs> don't worry. I was actually Macbeth. I thought you said you were a tree. I was just acting. <laughs> oh, you are good. I swear, if he's actually lying. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, what's happening to you? Yeah, she's like flickering. Don't fret, dearest. Something is simply passing between my planet's light and your bedroom. A cloud, perhaps. You know the proverb, wherever the golden light of Carcosa shines, the shadow of the unspeakable one is cast? It's a literal rule. Golden light of... Huh. I can only be wherever the light of my planet star Carcosa shines. In other words, I can't reach you at night when you're not standing in natural light, or if anything obstructs your view of Carcosa. So, theoretically, I could also find a way to break up with her by not looking at the giant blazing planet or being in a shady somewhere where the sun doesn't reach. That explains why Missy had a weird daytime- oh yeah, that's right. Had a weird daytime curfew. She'd literally vanish when the sun sets. What a Cinderella-like curse. That also explains how she got in my room. My window may have been locked, but the curtains were open, allowing the light in. So she could get in my room if I... She can't get into my room if I close my curtains. That's a good point. Aww, I was quite enjoying my time with you. I wanted to stay a little longer. I mean, the cloud will pass by soon. Alas, parting is such sweet sorrow. It may be some time until your sky clears. Until then, I bid you adieu. Oh? That one doesn't count. Wasn't on the lips. Well, 
Looks like I have one hell of a choice to make. Lynetta hasn't been summoned yet, and Esther is stuck outside for the moment, so I have a moment to collect my thoughts. Between Lynetta and Esther, who do I want to smooch? Or maybe more accurately, who am I more afraid of? If we have a choice, we will continue. I'm going to continue doing Lynetta. Do I stay with Lynetta, or do I follow Esther this time around? She is offering twice as many smooches after all. I need to make my choice. If I want to stay with Lynetta, then I should focus on sca casting spells from her book. If I want to smooch Esther, then I should open my window again when the clouds clear. <laughs> Sorry, voice cracked. And use Esther's book. And if I try going for both, well, walking down the middle of the road is bound to get me run over. As long as they aren't both in the room at the same time, I should be safe, right? Oh man, whatever am I going to do? Either way, I need to talk to Lynetta. She might be an avatar of world-ending calamity, but she might be able to help me get my head straight. Speaking of my head, why does my forehead feel kind of sticky? I should probably wash off that kiss if I'm going to talk to Lynetta. That way she won't notice a thing. Oh, I guess I have to do the, the calling then. Uh, let's... Let's close the pins first. I remember all those all light off. Oh. Okay, all light. Red red candles. Necklace. Then let's wash that little kiss off my forehead. Yeah, there we go. Oh no, what? Oh, why is why are my hands red? That doesn't seem good. Lynetta Arfat I Megbashu Nigri. Hey, Lynetta. Darling, it's you! Yeah, I'm not a traitor. I'm loyal, faithful, and what, uh, whatever. Hey, Lynetta. It's nice to see her despite everything I've been through so far. Sure, she may have ended the reality I was from, but she never lied or deceived me in any way. She told me up front what would happen, and I did it willingly. That said, I'm really glad you're here, but... Can you tell me what happened to me? To the world we dated in? That reality fell to me. Nothing there exists anymore. Like a dream that ends. Damn it. Just as I thought, only. Then, why am I still here? Why did I survive when the rest of that reality didn't? Oh, darling, don't make me say it. It's embarrassing. <gasps> did she save me? You're still here because I'm... We're definitely staying in this room. I'm still dreaming about you. Yeah! Everything in existence is being dreamed about by at least one Eldritch God. So as long as you're on my mind, you'll exist somewhere. That's actually kind of sweet. In a terrifying cosmic way. So if she ever forgets me, I'm like, screwed. What would happen if every God stopped dreaming at the same time? What if you woke up all at once? Ooh, that is a good question. Everything, including all of the gods would cease to be. Damn. So that's basically the world ending. Not even just the world, the end. Everything's... Everything would end. And that could just happen at any time. Nah, don't worry. There's about 50 of us total. So the chances of all of us being awake at the same time are low. He's like the type of guy who'd say bet and try his best to do <laughs> date all of them. There's only like 50 of you in all? She probably knows Esther very closely. Oh yeah, they'd be pretty tight-knit. Mm -hmm. Kind of a big family, huh? Family? Do, do you know Esther? Esther? Darling, I thought I told you not to mention other women while we're together. Especially not my son. <laughs> uh, oh no, this is not good. Sister! Ugh, I can't stand my prissy little boyfriend stealing! 
Oh no. Don't uh have a great relationship with her, huh? Absolutely not. We've been fighting over planets and followers for eons. It wouldn't be a stretch to call us nemeses. Ooh. <laughs> Thanksgiving di dinner must be awkward. <laughs> Phew. Good thing I washed my face. <laughs> Playboy instincts jumping out here. If Lynetta saw that lipstick smear on my forehead, I'd be in hot water right about now, see? I know what I'm doing. Well, I'm s I, I still am in hot water now. Actually, I've gotten involved with their sister of all people. A messy affair is bad enough, but with a family member? I'm toast if she finds out. Esther. Looks like the clouds haven't cleared yet. I won't be able to see her right now if I wanted to. For now, I should work through Lynetta's spells again. Elder Chan saved my ass last time. I better cast that one in case I'm unable to talk again. Sheesh. Listen to myself. What the hell is wrong with me, man? Okay, Elder Trail. Oh. I can talk to her. Okay. I, I wanted to test that. Let's talk to her. Darling, what's this I found under your bed? <laughs> he has... Oh, he has a thing of eldritch beings? Is that a thing? Is that a real thing that you... Oh, it's a DVD as well. A V debut. <laughs> oh, that's my eldritch encyclopedia. I haven't translated yet, but its diagrams are useful. Even I can tell this is not... <laughs> oh, you studied it extensively then. <laughs> I sense I've made some sort of mistake. Uh, I guess? Why? What's up? Darling, this is a dirty magazine. <laughs> oh, well, what? Really? I thought it was an anonym an anatomical guidebook. I can't read that. Anatomic anatomical. There we go. Big slippery Shogoth Girlfriends Volume 3. <laughs> I bet you can learn a lot of anatomy from this. Her. Oh man. They just really had to throw the title out there, didn't they? I said I haven't translated yet. How was I supposed to know? This girl on the front isn't wearing anything. She's topless. How would I know that? That's a girl? It just looks like an amorphous mass of tentacles to me. Is this what you wish I looked like? <laughs> I really, truly don't. Trust me. Look, Lynetta, you're smoking hot. <laughs> I could never have eyes for anyone else when I'm with you. You're my dream girl. Oh, sheesh. You're going to make me blush. I seriously didn't know it was a dirty mag. Honest. It's okay. I forgive you. Yes. That said, can I keep it? Not a chance. That, that'd be a very logical move. Why am I so heartbeat? And nervous. I'm just gonna keep talking. Hey, out of curiosity, have you dated before? I have too, so I was mainly what, just wondering what kinds of guys you're into. Well, I kind of have a thing for guys under a billion years old. I know, I know, I'm such a cradle <laughs> robber. <laughs> under a billion years? How long? I mean, they live for a long time, but... Under a billion years? A billion years old? I was talking about humans. What kind of humans have you dated? Uh, let's just say you're the nicest guy I've dated by far. Sheesh. Were they really that bad? Well, my last human ex hit me with a boat. So the bar is <laughs> low. <laughs> a boat? You've dated non-humans too? Of course. Though, me being single now kind of tells you all you need to know about how those relationships went. Got any stories? I dated a beholder once. What the hell's a beholder? How'd that end? You know, in hindsight, 
I shouldn't have been surprised that a sentient mass of eyeballs was seeing other women. <laughs> okay, I can kind of picture that. <laughs> okay, let's continue. That's enough. That's enough goofing. Oh, the pain just cha uh, it changed. Usually it's like much farther. Never leave the lights off. Huh, okay. It feels less than the first book. Uh, some place where gore, bathroom, nothing, knife. Bada bing, bada boom, bada pop. Oh, ah man. I have a medallion on. Oh, she disappeared. Anything outside? Nope. All right, that should be it. Ritual knife. Got it. Make yolk. I make buck next steak. Young y'all. Your scree. <laughs> Shit. Still as unnerving as I remember. Yeah, it looks worse than last time. In this reality, this is just my hand now. Forever. Ah, it's such a nice day outside. It's a little dry for my liking, but we could totally have a date date. Why don't you open your window? Let a little light in here? Mm, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Oh no. No. Wait! Don't open my curtains. But what? What is it? Uh, you sure you want to do what that? What do you mean? I mean, uh, don't you want to shower first before you go out, like last time? Huh? Why would you suggest that? Oh no, don't tell me. Do I still smell like the ocean? <laughs> Just... <laughs> Just a tad salty. Heavens below! I'm so sorry, darling. I'll be right back. No peeking by, I love you! That was a close one. If she opened that window, Esther would have came. I would have been a goddess. Looks like the clouds have cleared. And Lynetta's out of the room. If I want to date Esther, it's go time. Otherwise, if I want to stay with Lynetta, I need to make absolutely sure that window never opens. Ever. It's time to choose. From this point on, my actions will have consequences. My actions always have consequences. Damn it. <laughs> Still worth. <laughs> ah, he amuses me. Okay. I just noticed there's three different ways I could go now. Okay, let's uh keep it with the Lunetta route. Oh, I'm going. Okay, what's next? Metamorphosis. Oh yeah, I gotta get my my tentacle mouth from the ritual after from the ritual after Esther's masquerade will have consequences. If you see or hear something strange, this is not your imagination. Be ready. Proceed in total darkness. No lights. No candles. Their image appears no way. Okay. Should be easy peasy. Okay. Just gotta remember not to open my window. Uh, da da da. Tapestry. Gone. Robe and necklace. Mask. Oh, that's not the right robe then. I guess it's fine. What if I change it to this mask? It's worth trying. Uh, have a ceremonial knife. Uh, always remember the second step. Oh, where's my knife? Oh, I still have it. Uh, I don't know if this will change anything. Oh, okay. It just straight up says I need the mask. Okay. Hub yeah. oh god Hub Yag Nyab Nyad it abzib your gore Yeah Oh no I'm just gonna I'm just not gonna read it. I'm just gonna do it as slowly as I can. 
100% brain power. Ah, uh, it's I I can't. Oh my! Come on, 100 110%. In fact, 110.1%. That's way beyond my normal brain power. Come on. And it crashed. Abort.